Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at applying effects in Olive. So effects to our video clips, effects to our audio clips. By default, it's just empty. And so we may have something in our media viewer like I do now. I double click and this appears in the media viewer. So we can play this back and we've kind of learned to toggle between the two. Um, but effects will be empty until we have something in our timeline that is selected. It'll just remain empty. So I'll show you what that looks like. If we drag and drop a clip down, it's still empty, even though we can play and see we actually have something in our timeline. If we wanna apply an effect to this clip, we just have to select it first. So if we left click and select the clip, now under effects, it shows us some different options. We have transform, we have volume and pan, and we can add more effects by clicking up here. And we have all these different effects we can add. But we're gonna get into that um, in just a second, but first I wanna talk about effects. So different video editors handle effects differently. For example, some video editors might have speed be an effect, like speed and slow. Whereas we've learned in Olive, we just right click and go to speed duration. And so it's not really, um, it's not, there's no effect for speed and slow. Some video editors have transitions be an effect or like fade in and fade out. So there's different things that effects can be but you should just think of effects as a property of a video clip. So if we apply, apply an effect, it's going to apply to this video clip that's selected. And if we bring in another video clip right here, and we click, click on it, it has different video effects applied to it. So this effect right here, transform, is really an effect. You wouldn't really think about that. Like if you want to, for example, what something we can do here is rotate the video. Oh, let's bring it around. So we can rotate this video around. That's an effect. It's not necessarily like a special effect, but it's, it's just an effect that we're applying to this video clip. We're changing the properties of this video clip. We can do scale. I'm just left clicking and holding down right here. So we left click and hold and make it smaller, larger, and then we see that changes over there. Um, we can also double click just like we did with the um, speed and slow and type in a value. So 100 takes it back to 100% of the size that it was. And if we want our rotation to go back to normal, we just go back to zero for that. So we can double click and change it that way. But if we left click and hold and go one way or the other, we can change like the position. And so this is how you would, if you want to do like a video in video, since we've learned before that wherever the playhead is, it plays the topmost video first. And then in the background, it plays the other video. So in the background, this video will be playing. And then at this portion of the video, it'll be playing both at the same time. So when this is exactly where it was before, it's kind of eating up all the space or it's taking up all the video space. But if we want to sh shrink this down, we can actually scale this down and move this. And this is how you would create that kind of effect of having a video in video, like in the bottom corner. Then when we play this, it'll play both videos and both audios right now. Um, but that is uh, that is the effects. And so it, whatever clip we're clicked on, so if we wanted to ch affect, uh, apply an effect to this video clip with the circuit board, we have to first click on that one so that it's gray. Um, and then now anything we change, now we're changing the size of this one. And we can also, once it's selected, You'll notice there's also some different um, things that appear in here um, that we can actually click on. I don't know why. We've got, for some reason, we've got, we've got this one that we can click on. I can't click on the back one. That might just be a, a glitch that they're working out in Olive. But anyway, you can also control by clicking around and we can change the size in here as well and the location in here without having to come in and change the actual numbers. Um, Audio effects are the same way. So volume, we can affect the volume of this clip. We have it selected on right now. I'm just gonna delete, I guess I'll delete this one. So we can change the volume of this clip by going to volume and then we just change this. It's zero dB decibels. That's kind of, there, there's no, um, we're not adding volume or taking away volume. But if we do this in the negative, it'll be much more quiet and we can, Increase the volume. All my switches soldered in. I'm doing greens so that's going to affect that. And then pan is left and right. I'll turn this up a little bit so you can hear. I think I'm gonna do we have left ear down here on my and then right ear. And we can see the activity of that happening over here as well. 
Looks like maybe that was, re yeah, no, that's got stereo. Anyway, um, we can apply different, we can add different effects too. And so in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna specifically go into adding different effects. Um, you've got color correcting, color grading, you can do blur, we can do keying like chroma key, like green screen or blue screen, removing a background. Um, text, adding text to the video is an effect. Um, and stylized, just sort of changing the way that, that it looks. So go ahead and feel free to play with with some of these things in here. But um, we're going to cover those in some future videos. I think that's probably a good place to end, though. Just drawing your attention to the effects. And it just confuses people sometimes. Make sure you know that whatever video you're clicking on is the one that you're applying the effects to. And if by chance you have them both selected, so by holding down the shift and clicking on multiple clips, we can apply um, effects to both of them at the same time. Um, so now that th those have both been rotated. So if we move this out of the way, the one behind it is also rotated. Can you see that? So we've kind of done a kind of a weird thing here. But um, yeah, so whatever selected, including multiple clips together or multiple audio clips. So like audio, for example, you'd select a lot of audio clips and then change the volume on all of them at the same time. If it's if you have a bunch of cuts or something, that's a, a, a scenario where you might use that. Anyway, play with video effects. In the next video, we'll dive into some specific ones uh, that you'll be using fairly often. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.